Previously on Hunting with Tripler. GameStop refurbished. What's happening folks? Tripler here. My name's Nick. I'm an online reseller. I use platforms like eBay and Amazon to sell new and used goods that I'll pick up at a thrift store, a flea market, or garage sales. And today's episode is really focusing in on one of the best garage sales I had been to all season long. So you gotta stay all the way to the end of the video to see the incredible scores that we had. So I hope you like this video. I hope you'll subscribe and hit that bell if you want notifications when I have content coming out and I hope you enjoy what's coming up. I collect so many things. Would you like to share this journey with me? I will show you the prizes I got today. So come along so with come me. Along with come me. on and join me the chase. Yeah. Looks like an apartment complex, but we are at a church sale. 6 a.m. It's actually 5.50. see what we can find. I think you had some video games, right? Uh, a few, not much, but yeah, there's some... The Xbox is right in the center. Okay, cool. Thanks, man. Let me jump in here real quick. This church sale deserves a little explanation. I'd shown up. Clearly, you can see I was there before they opened the doors. But what was a little bit strange and a little unfortunate is that you'll have resellers out here trying to get the best deals before they even know what's even out there on the show floor in the retail space. And this is an example of just people being too greedy. And the gentlemen, actually there were a couple of them, couldn't even open the doors before five or six of them just rushed through. One guy got trampled and he was legitimately hurt. He was really, really frustrated with two of the gentlemen that were trying to check out later. And he remembered that. So when they were trying to check out and since nothing had a price on it, they were being forced to pay up big. I was as calm and as collected as I could be. I even tried to help the gentleman up. But what you really need to remember is when you're out there in the wild, do yourself a favor. Help your friends in need. Help people who are selling. Be nice out there because you never know. If they don't want to sell you something, they absolutely don't have to. And you can always do yourself a favor by being nice because it goes a long way. Because when you see what I picked up, I didn't pay nearly anything for what I got. All right, so it's real early, and uh, I'll explain what just happened, but that was bizarre. Bizarre. Uh, picked up a couple of these medical devices. Ice your knee. This is the original Zillis. Zillis. And then a bag full of goodies, which we'll go through later. But, uh, whew. I cannot begin to express to you how incredibly uncomfortable that experience was. I love going to garage sales, I'll tell you that much. I have yeah. no problem going to them. Well, this looks pretty cool. I, uh, I definitely am here to buy. We'll see if okay. it's... How much is the purse here? That one's 10. Okay. Good morning again, sir. Good morning. <laughs> Hi. Uh, 
uh, 20 bucks. Okay, I don't know what just happened. I really have no idea what just happened. There's no words to really describe everything that I just got. Ah, uh, okay, I gotta just calm myself for a moment. I'll be right back. Okay, I, again, I cannot begin to express. I just spent, let's see, two, no, $345. That is a ridiculous amount of money. Ah, uh, okay. Ooh, yeah. All right, I just made a garage sale stop at 1230 on a Saturday. She was just closing up and I swooped in and I grabbed a few items. I did, again, I paid up on these items. I spent a total of $100. And I'll show you here what I got. All right, so for $100, I picked up an HDMI cable. I picked up this. Now, this is the third of these that I've picked up, and they have all been good scores. This is a Google Chrome. Okay, this item here I've sold now twice. This is easy, $25. Then I picked up the this uh, walking hiking poles, and these actually are new, and they retail for $25. This here was probably the best score. The strap here is is just is beautiful, but this is a, a Nikon Coolpix B500. This actually retails right now pre-owned. Um, I'm gonna bundle it with the case, and there's a few accessories that will go with that as well. Um, I'll put this for $115, and it should sell relatively easy. It is in beautiful condition, I mean, it looks like it's barely been used. It works perfectly. Memory card included. I might actually go give that back to her. Depends. If there's no pictures, I'm not I'm keeping it. Finally, this is a Sigma uh, Canon lens. This is for Canon use only. It's a Sigma Compact Hyperzoom 28 200 millimeter um, camera lens. And this actually retails for about 60 to $70 right now on eBay. The day just continues to get better. It's just been really fantastic. So let's recap our church sale. It was pretty early. It was about six o'clock in the morning when they opened the doors. I hope I got at least a little footage of how nuts it was and uncomfortable it was and how weird it was to see people literally push the workers out of the way to just scramble for random stuff. Here's the stuff I got at the church sale. Right off the bat, Don Joy is a great medical brand. They make a lot of medical devices. This happens to be the Iceman, which is something that will ice your knee. I don't know how or why they had two of them, but they had two of them that are both new and they sell for about a hundred bucks a piece. This, I looked at it and the only reason I wanted it is because it said Switzerland on it. And I, even right now, as you look at the photos, I still don't actually know what it is, but I think it has something to do with a fixing equipment uh, for you know woodworking, something of that nature to uh, a stable structure. In any case, it sells for over $150 on eBay. I haven't looked this up yet. I don't, I don't really know exactly why I got it. It was new, and so I just thought I'd give it a chance. The Xbox is nothing new to me. I, I buy those all the time for somewhere around 10 bucks. The Milwaukee, now, I have a heat gun already. I bought this just because they actually heat guns sell relatively well and Milwaukee is not a bad brand. So I was fine picking that up. The two games that were in the lot, the Evil Within, which is not a great game. Uh, let's see if that's actually in there. It is in there, so that's good. And then Marvel versus Capcom, which I don't, oh, you know what? That is in there. Okay, that's cool. Um, clearly it's not Call of Duty. Duty Black Ops. We also got a TI-84. I believe this is the silver edition. Yes, it is. Let's see if it works. All right, we're going to need some new batteries. I haven't tested it yet, but those sell extremely well. That should be over $40. That's funny. I think you guys saw footage from a previous garage sale. I've picked this exact item up, this Dell AC cable, and I sold it, I think, for $15 relatively quick. Now, this Lenovo laptop was also a nice pickup because 
I know that is a decent processor. And when I looked at it and it, and it showed that it had USB 3.0, I know it was a relatively newer model. So for $60 for this entire lot you see here, I was happy to take that. So I'll recap these next three that you just saw. This Ninja Turtles, it appears to be some kind of slot racing track. And then the Thermos, this Stanley Thermos, it is new, sells for about $25. So total 55, I paid 15, that was okay. I was asking if she would separate her Smith and Corona, uh, the film ribbon and this uh, correcting cassette. She actually said, yeah, sure, no problem. So I got these two items here. I got this, which I looked at it and it looks like it's, it's uh, associated with Legos in some way. It's called Teeny World Crosswise. This dinosaur and fossils. And Cootie, I picked that up, honestly, because I used to have it in grade school and that thing was awesome. It was silly. It doesn't have a lot of the pieces with it, but it has enough for me to say nostalgia. And then finally, this Sylvania uh, VCR DVD combo. It is not the DVD recorder, if I'm not mistaken. No, it is not. And for all of that, I paid $10. And here we have Grey's Anatomy, sealed copy of the second season. One Tree Hill, the complete third season. This uh, Callaway, Big Bertha. It also had the three wood as well. Or excuse me, the five driving iron, which was in pretty rough shape for a tailor-made. I don't know if I'd get anything more than $25 for something like this. And whenever you see an Odyssey putter, pick that thing up. Now, when you take a look at the top, when you're looking at putters of any sort, if the grip is in good shape, that's even better. I picked all that up for $17. All right, so here is the score, certainly of the season. And let's just break it down because what we picked up the all-in price was $345 paid. That was both cash and Venmo. I had given her all the cash that I'd had, and I made a pretty good stack, and I walked out of there going, oh, I scored big. And I put it in the car, and I actually had to leave. I, I was I was late to get it, getting back to my house to prepare for AYSO, which is why I'm wearing the blue shirt. I walked back up going, man, I left a lot of items that are very similar. I'm gonna regret this. Let me just make another stack really quick and see if she'll take Venmo. And she said yes. So I started piling stuff up again. So we'll go box by box. We'll start over here. Tell me what you think. Okay, so from right to left, this is our Star Trek sealed in box. This would be a, a snap model. So these two are probably from, these are a, a reprint 2010. Not, not a whole lot of money here, but I would say these are probably 15, 20 bucks a piece. So call that $40. This is a larger uh, Starship Enterprise. This year on this is 1994. It's still sealed, but the front has a bit of weathering to it just from handling and displaying it, I'm sure. But really nice, really great. This one sells Actually, I couldn't find a lot of comps on this one, but because of the size, I'm gonna guess this is probably in the $50, $60 range, and it might be even more. What I thought I had, I thought this was from the 90s. Now, I had this. I had this exact toy from the 90s, but this is actually a reproduction of the 90s version of this, and it's in, it is new in the box. It was taken out for display purposes, so technically you can't call it new. It hasn't been played with at all, and all of the accessories and everything is still in there. This thing will sell for over $100 in the condition that it's in, and the box is relatively good, but many of these that I've seen online do not have the box with it, so that's great. I think I, think I scored. So for just the Star Trek stuff alone, I'm probably sitting at about $200. So thinking about how much I've spent at 350, you know, 200 minus fees and things like that, I'm getting close just on this right here. So let's move to the next box. This Forge Dice Company, I believe this is Dungeons, this is a Dungeons and Dragons uh, dice set, metal dice set. I don't know why I grabbed this one. Again, something that looked relatively interesting and I just grabbed it. It's a data pack, but I, I think it's just cards, right? I, don't, I, I really know nothing about it, so I grabbed it. I don't know if it's collectible or not. I haven't even looked that one up, but grab that as well. This one for, for all things tablet, 
you wouldn't imagine this would be a, a, a desirable tablet. It is. This is actually a pretty desirable tablet. I have no reason to believe I wouldn't get at least 100, 125 for that. So beautiful, beautiful um, tablet from NVIDIA. This is just a hard drive docking station. This does not have the hard drive in it. This is something that you would obviously apply a hard drive to, but it's just an enclosure. It's pretty nice, pretty simple. It's still sealed. I love sealed items, and this retails for 25, 30 bucks on eBay. Getting into the video game type stuff. So this is a sealed copy, Assassin's Creed 3 limited edition. I think this is over $60, $70. Knowing that it is still sealed, I shouldn't have any problem getting rid of it. There aren't a lot of comps just because I think many people who bought this probably opened it. Okay, moving further down into the stack. Let's pull this out. This is a StarCraft Collector's Edition Wings of Liberty. I, I don't know what that means at all other than it's sealed, it's in beautiful condition, and this will retail over $70. Uncharted 3 Drake's uh, Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception Collector's Edition. There are some comps of this. This is again new in the box. This is still sealed. So I think this is going to sell upwards of $40, $50. For the games, I, I don't know why I grabbed this one. This is a $2 game. I think this is a $10, $15 game. This is an actual sealed copy of the game. Now, the, the cellophane wrap came off, but the, the seal here was not broken, so I would still call this new. Red Steel is maybe a $5, $10 game. Devil May Cry, $7 game. And this one, I think, in its condition, is a $15 game. Forgot to mention this Tenchu Shadow Assassins is sealed. So... That's pretty cool. Okay, so moving down, we got a PSP. It does have a game in it, Ace Combat Fighter. And the PSP is in beautiful condition. I don't know. I'm trying to think maybe 50 bucks for this. And then finally, this Star Wars Old Republic Collector's Edition. Let's turn that around. This is... I, I haven't checked if it is sealed. It looks like it is sealed. It does look like it's sealed. But I, I'll have to do a little bit more investigation. The corner here got dinged somehow either it was dropped but if it's new sealed it's well over a hundred dollars i think that based on the condition and considering whether it is or isn't sealed i think i'll get a hundred bucks for it okay here we go into the transformer box there were only two loose transformers but i did pick them up i don't know what this one is it looks like a decepticon it does have decepticon logos on it it looks a little like a starscream ripoff but it's probably one of his his henchman. Another loose one that must have fallen somewhere. There we go. I have not seen this. And this looks just fantastic. This is obviously Rodimus Prime. And anyone who told, tells me that this is actually what Hot Rod looks like in the newer generation, I wouldn't believe him. But Rodimus Prime looks like an absolute bad, bad man here. That was the other loose one. So just those two loose. And then I'm not going to go every single one. I'm just going to show you basically the highlights, but I got Jetfire. I did have Jetfire. I have Jetfire here. Some of the boxes are in very good condition. Some of the boxes are a little rough, but there's Jetfire. We got two. Uh, this one's Sunstreaker. It is not Bumblebee. We got Swindle. This one is from the Revenge of the Fallen. So I think I got four or five inbox there. Yeah, four or five of those. And then another Revenge of the Fallen, that one's Bumblebee. Alternators, okay, so the Alternator series, I got three or four inbox like that. And they all just, they were all just really nice. And then, like I said, they were all in relatively good condition. Happy to pick those up. And for, again, for the price, I was really happy to get these. I think this box won't sell for more than three or $400. Uh, if I got more than that, I probably would be surprised, but I would guess that on the low end, I'll be at 300 on the high end, maybe 400. And maybe if you put something in the comments to tell me, no, dude, you're way off on that. Cool. But, um, that's the, that's the goal in mind on this stuff. And finally, this is the more risky stuff. I am not going to go into great detail showing some of the, the detail of this because I want to keep my channel relatively wholesome here. But we have a number of anime figures. We have everything from more risky anime figures all the way to some of the more robotic stuff. This one I have no problem showing. Uh, this one retails for well over $200 new. This is absolutely new, 
Some of these figurines that are in here are ranging from the 200 to 300 range. Everything in here is new. Nothing has been played with. Nothing has been ripped out of its packaging. It is all new. So with that, this box that you're looking at right here is probably $1,000 all by itself. Someone who knows a little bit more about anime, I hope will either educate me on what the value is. I know my investment is totally secure. With this box, the Transformer box, the games, and all the Star Trek stuff, I'm expecting a really, really big return. How much that return is going to be, we'll have to do more research. I'm happy to pay up on it because, quite honestly, this is the kind of sale that you go to going, I didn't need to go anywhere else today. I could have just gone here and that would have been fine. So, all in all, uh, of course, I'm going to do the recap. It'll show you kind of what my expected return is going to be. I'm just going to say from looking at my scores today, I think this is like a plus $2,000 day. Uh, it might be in the $2,500 range. Of course, after shipping and after fees, you know, there's a lot of work that goes into this too, but I really think I'm going to be well over $2,000. I am just, I can't believe it. And this is just one day about, really guys, this is, this is two hours of garage sales. That's it. I can't tell you how excited I am. So anyway, that is going to do it. That's it. No more. We're not doing any more sales. Um, thank you guys for joining me. I, I'm so happy that you stayed all the way to the end of the video. Please like. Please subscribe. Because there's going to be more of this stuff coming up. And you know what? Have a great weekend. Have a great day. See you next time.